Hi everyone, it's Fitz with The Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am great. I'm enjoying being in Manhattan, Kansas. I miss going to the game, but here we are. It is game day. And if you're familiar with how I've been doing these daily deliveries, the game day daily delivery doesn't have anything to do with the game so that it can have a nice shelf life. What doesn't have a long shelf life is our 50% off special for the Sweet 16. Get on over to Go Powercat, hit that green join button, become part of the family. If you enjoy the DDs and the, the podcasts and the, now we're doing live video streams, if you enjoy all that, please support us and get into the message board community and get all the best stuff that's there for the VIP customers. Here we go in my favorite topic, Silent George and the 10 Disciples. The Pac-12 continues to struggle for its direction. It was stated by the media monkeys that basically are mouthpieces for the Pac-12 that there was going to be a big board meeting among all the presidents, chancellors, and, and Silent George. Yesterday, it didn't happen. And the only thing you can think is that the news wasn't good, so he didn't want to share it. But I also think George is running a scam on everyone. If you look at what's available in the media space, there isn't much out there unless he's going to come up with something magical. There aren't many slots available on network linear TV. He's going to have to go streaming. He's going to have to find a streamer that's willing to pay $300, $360 million to match the Big 12 per school. It's not going to happen. I don't see any way it's going to happen, but I don't know everything either. But he was supposed to have a meeting. Everyone reported it, and then there was no meeting. And this is my new theory, and I think I am right. I've shared it before, but today convinced me this is exactly what's going on. Silent George is waiting for the Big 12 to make a move because he doesn't have a deal, and he doesn't want to admit that he has failed miserably as Pac-12 commissioner. Silent George is waiting to play the victim card, which seems exactly like what he's been doing since the very start. When the Big Ten raided two schools from his conference and put them in a precarious position with their futures in doubt, he blamed the Big 12. Woe is me, says George, and he can't get a media deal. But that won't be his fault if Arizona and Colorado jump to the Big 12. That'll be the Big 12's fault. You see the scam he's running? It's interesting because he's brought in plenty of media sources in on the scam. I, I in some ways, hope I'm wrong. I hope the Pac-12 can survive. But we're not rooting for the Pac-12 to die. We're just simply rooting for Pac-12 teams to find a refuge in the Big 12. It's like blaming the sinking ship on the lifeboat that you climb into.